What is that over there? You guys see that thing? What in God's name is... Oh my God, he's terrifying. Oh my God, I'm getting cornered. Oh God, what is that? Oh God, oh my God. What is that thing? I despise it. Oh, he's horrible. Oh, he's horrifying. Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to Mineshafts and Monsters. This is episode 12. When we left off, we were in the middle of Wesley's roguelike dungeons, and today my goal is to finish that mod out. So it all has to do with this mysterious portal that I'm sure you've seen all over your worlds, but it was on mine, I've always wondered what it was, so I decided to do a little research. Basically, it is a combination of roguelike dungeons, and roguelikes are a type of game that are generally on older consoles where they are procedurally generated and be repetitive kind of dungeons, and there's a boss at the end and you get keys to open chests and all of that jazz. So last episode we found two dungeons, and today we are going to complete the rest of them. I think it's going to go a little bit faster because I actually have a bunch of keys. We duplicated one of the enemies by accident because we shot him with a magical arrow and the magic damage killed him, not me, and it caused some weird bug, basically, between the two mods conflicting. So we have extra keys to the treasure room, and we are going to go generate some dungeons and get some of the extra activations. Okay, I need myself a spider eye. I'm gonna get everything I need for this. I will be right back. Alrighty, I am back, and we have pretty much everything we need to summon our next dungeon. I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. Oop, not throw it on the floor. I'm gonna pick it up. And if I go ahead and press it, a new dungeon has been formed. And this will give us the coordinates after it legs out for a little bit. And we shall head right there. We are heading back to our lovely, lovely dungeon. Go ahead, we are going to 1241, negative 3439. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are out here. This is our next dungeon. Seems to be filled with ice. I'm gonna see if I actually have any torches. Hmm, we'll see what this one's actually called. I have no friggin' idea. Snowy wind machine? What in the world does that mean? Well, this one's definitely closed off. Frost hold. So it's like a frost dungeon. Cool. Whoa, it's snowing in here. <laughs> what in the heck? That is wild. Oh yes, an apple. Why am I lagging so much? Checking into this room. Breaking the spawner. Taking down the keys. Okay, let's see. Apple, apple, apple. Yeah, nothing over here. Okay, so I'm like frostbitten. That's annoying. What? Yeah, what What in the world is that? Um, yo, go away, bro. Oh yeah, wait, I wanted to check my trinkets. There we go. Yeah, so we had one more. Um, I want to unlock this. And I want to add this. You are immune to the coffee bean. You are immune to nausea, mining, fatigue, and slowness. That is 100% something I want. I can't be slowed by no one. Oh, hello. I shall break this spawner in the name of the Lord. What's over here? That looks interesting. Ooh, it's like a two-way direct two-way directional hallway. Dickin' now, your loot walking fast. I don't know why this dungeon of all things is laggy, but it is kind of annoying. Okay, it seems that the spike has gone down a, a wee little bit. Okay, um, yeah, let's try this way. Oh, this is a weird freaking dungeon. It's like a snow cave. Ah, skeleton! Alrighty, we are back, and I think what I'm gonna do is be a little bit smart about this. These dungeons are incredibly repetitive, and this one had the same boss as the other one. So I think what I'm going to do is go through and get all the items we need and then I'll meet you guys at the portal and we'll see what's actually behind it. Because I think that'll be a lot more entertaining than me going through these dungeons uh, over and over and over again and it's it's going to be pretty repetitive because they take hours to, they take hours and hours and hours to actually complete so I think this will be the better option in the long run. Alright boys, here is the next one. 
still not quite sure what the, um, I guess, theme of this one is. We'll see. Uh, the theme is lag. Oh, yep. Nope, it's the same as the other one, I think. Prisons. Yeah, so we've seen one just like this before. Um, I'm thinking that maybe... Oh, here's the treasure room, though, so we'll just go straight for it. Oh, hello. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, no, bro. Downside of these dungeons is they seem to be generating the same one over and over again. Why is it laughing like that? I hate that. Oh my god, what is that? Sounds like a child laughing and walking around me. <laughs> yeah, um, we're gonna go to the next one. We're gonna generate the next one now. Negative 547-1109. Five, five, one, one, oh, Negative 547-1109. Five, one, one, oh, we're going straight through a dragon nest, so this will be fun. Oh god, it's a lightning dragon. Oh, run, 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 run. Ooh, yeah, that's fun. This one generated entirely in the ocean, so it's probably going to be completely flooded. Hot dang, it's the same kind as the other one. Yeah, that's a bummer. Um, because you're supposed to see, you're supposed to see diff different types of these, but I'm only seeing the same one. Um, kind of a bummer. We're gonna get the orb and continue. We only have one more after this. All right, we are back. We are back, we are back, we are back. Um, generally speaking, the gist of what we did was got ourselves all the orbs of the deep that we need, and I think we're ready to put them in the altar itself. Okay, sick. I am stoked. Very excited. Um, like I said, I cut out, I cut out most of that just because it was literally the same thing over and over again. God, I've literally had... You guys remember the sheesh meme? That thing has been stuck in my head for the last week. Come down here, bro. There we go, baby. Spores. All right, so we've got four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay, and this portal is complete. I have no idea where this takes me, but I'm gonna make sure I'm well equipped. I've got myself some torches. I've got all of my keys here. I'm assuming we're still gonna need these. Um. What else do we need? Arrows. Augmented arrows. Sweet. Got my boost. And we're ready. So, from what I remember... Wait, what? What was that? What did that thing say? A corrupted lands. What did it say? It had a message. Work in progress. Expect to see finished in the next update. Okay. So cool. Uh, that was uh, not to say a waste of time, but I mean, it's kind of unfortunate it's not at all done. Anything interesting around here? Actually, you know, I'm gonna do this. I've had a lot of comments saying that I need to put bounce on here, um, and I'm gonna do it. Boom. Oh my god. Wait, that's actually much better. Okay, the corrupt lands has some of these flourishing archwood. Um, is there anything here? Or is this biome just completely... There seems to be enemies. Ah, uh, what are you? Hello. What are these things? They're adorable. So small. Now I'm just jumping across the land. The real question is, is there anything? Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and guess no. We've explored this area. Um, uh, yeah, so this dimension's just filled with, uh, dirt and unbreakable stone. Um, I can't find anything in here, and I think it's just not completed, which is fine. That was Wesley's Roguelike Dungeons. I was thinking that there would be a more advanced boss at the end, but it's looking like that's not the case. I'm gonna do a little bit of research to see if that is actually how far the mod is completed, and then I will get back to you guys in a second. We are gonna do one final thing before we call it good for Wesley's roguelike dungeons, and that is use the magic cauldron in the nether. Because there is a counterpart to the one that we've been using, which will spawn a dungeon, probably something somewhat similar, in the nether. I think that this dun this I, I think this mod has a ton of potential, but the problem is I really new dungeon has formed. Magic cauldron. Um my main complaint is, like, I seem to be getting the same dungeon every time. So, I'm gonna get to this location, I'll be back. 3678, 24C. Alrighty, um, we are in the nether, and this looks to be our dungeon. I'm assuming this is it, at least. Like, there's a tower. Ah, yes, and the stairs down. Oh my god, dude. Bounce is helpful unless you're trying to walk down stairs, from what I've found. And this is a lot different than the other Wesley's roguelike dungeon boss mod. The places we've been. Oh yeah, this just looks like another fortress. 
Are there even going to be like blazes and stuff? The forge. Whoa. Okay, this is a little more intense than I'm used to. Sheesh. Uh, okay, pigmen. Oh, that's not good. There's an imp. Uh, quest wanted the lurker. Yeah, I killed the lurker. That was me. I did it. Oh god, whoa. Okay, so this forge dungeon is freaking epic. Oh my god, what is here? Golden Bricks Keyhole. I mean, we have this. We have the treasure. <laughs> Might as well see what's in here. Might as well. I'm here for the boss though, baby. This is the same exact kind of stuff. I'm gonna mark it. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, you can see it everywhere. Holy cow. Yeah, so in the nether it's a little bit easier because you can see where the dungeon actually is. And I have a hunch that below this is the second level. Like down here. That black part. It's gotta be. Well, should we see if the loot's any different? Anything good? Wilden spears. Or follows frosty flames. Hey, we like that. Uh, augment arrow pierce. Yes, please. Totem or augment arrows. These are actually pretty decent. Totem of shielding. Okay, so the loot is better in the nether, marginally. All right, we're gonna keep looking around, see what we can find. Okay, yeah, I think we are in the, yeah, the fiery tomb. This is the second level. This is pretty sweet. Uh, stairs are right back over here. This is pretty interesting. This is a very colorful area. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yikes. Okay, so this is a much more dangerous, a much more dangerous area. Okay, we're gonna hide back here. Nope, 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 nope. Not here. Not here at all, baby. Oh god, there's bees too. What are you? Come on, there's gotta be a boss in here somewhere. That's the goal. That is the goal. Stay in here, because I don't think he can open the door. What is that over there? You guys see that thing? What in God's name is that? Oh my God, he's terrifying. Oh my God, I'm getting cornered. Oh God, what is that? Oh God, oh my God. What is that thing? I despise it! Oh, he's horrible. Oh, he's horrifying. He's placing lava buckets on me? Oh god. Okay, we got him at least. What was he? I don't know what that was, but I despised it. Oh my god. I have to rush or it's not gonna happen. Oh, we're going this way, going this way, going this way, going this way. Oh my god, dude, this is not fun. Run. Just run, just keep running. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? It is time to fight the golem. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, his face changed. I don't know what to expect. Okay, yep, can't get out of here. Oh god, there's lasers all around me. This is gonna be interesting. It is going to be interesting. If he'll ever spawn. Watch me regret that in like two seconds when he completely decimates me. The Doom Golem? Oh my god, hello. I don't... Okay, he seems pretty easy. Yeah, I cannot tank you, Doom Golem. Take that, my friend. I will out tank you any day of the week, my buddy, my friend, my good old pal. Yeah, I am a tank. I am the tank wizard. Literally the shield wizard. Oh god, uh, that was very different. Oh boy, what is going on? Okay, yeah, so that's a little different than I thought. Um, okay. <laughs> I guess I should have assumed there'd be a second phase. Okay, so each of the bots does like a different effect, I think. Okay, I killed the Doom bot. Come 
on, bro. Leave me alone. Come on, Doom Golem. You can't handle this heat. No, you can't, bruh. What's up, bruh? <laughs> now we're back to out tanking him. Oh my god, wait, he's invisible. I don't want to fight him if he's invisible. Okay, yeah, my bow does more damage. 72. Okay, bruh, I forgot. My bow is not good for fighting them because it just duplicates them. Okay, standard three-phase fight is not going well. Okay, those lasers are very loud. Run, run. Oh, hello. I want some of these lasers to deck up my house. Kill one with this. Kill one with the bow. We're gonna kill the other with melee. Bruh. Dude, his aggro is ridiculous. Heck yeah, brother. We have officially defeated the Doombots. <laughs> okay, uh, so we've got some quests. Specifically, we've got bounties. Uh, the Doombot. Oh my god, we get a lot of... We get a lot of stuff. Wow. These are actually pretty sweet. Um, let me clear out some of my inventory just to make sure that we've got the room. Um, and then we'll go back to this and we'll say middle tier loot. What's good out of this? End rods. Maybe we'll get some chemical X. Yeah, that seems about right. Um, and then the lurker. What'd we get? Low tier loot from him? Um, paraglider. Let's see, yeah, I guess just an emerald. And then mid-tier loot, I want a, that's annoying, stone bricks, because they're annoying to craft. What else can we get in here? So Cyclops, Cerberus, Charybdis, Crawler, Jerrion, Nobles, Rotten Great Warrior, Cockatrice, the Runestone Lord, Eater of the Depths. Cool, there's some pretty ridiculous stuff on this. Um, we are still a ways away from actually being able to, like, leave. Um, we've got so many, so many mods to check out, um, and we're just finding more and more every single time we play. Um, this, however, I think is a good spot to take a break from... Oh yeah, this is a good spot to take a break from Wesley's Roguelike Dungeons. It is a really cool mod, and I highly suggest you check it out. It looks like it's getting pretty regular support, and it should be updated and completed rather soon. Um, yeah, seriously check it out. I It is very worth your time. Um, the loot's good. I suggest it as kind of an entry-level mod for this game, so if you're pretty new, start this mod pack, and it'll help you get up to speed with some good loot, because it's not terribly difficult. Heading back to the surface. Ah yes, our underground hideout. Middle of nowhere. We are back, and I think it's time we do a little bit more create. Um, we went and fought some cool bosses today. I think for now, what we're going to do is maybe make one more farm, and then we're going to go back out and explore some more and pick our next mod to play with. Because uh, we've got way too many and it's literally just taking forever. Um, this has been an absolute blast so far. I want to go see the results of my create stuff, actually, now that I think about it. Um, look at that. Okay, I gotta see how much wheat and stuff we're actually producing. So, oh my god. So, tons of nether wart. Tons of carrots. More wheat seeds. Uh, like, a ridiculous amount of wheat. This is just getting ridiculous. And what about our tree farm? How is that one doing? <gasps> oh my. 
Oh my goodness. Um, geez, uh, that's a lot. We're getting ready to build a mansion, and this farm is literally going to help so much. Um, we're going to get a cobblestone one, and then we're going to build an even bigger house. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing for more just like it. I have a lot of plans for the next episode already, and I know I'm going to start with the world of Create. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.